What's going on guys? Andrew Pillick Hockey here checking in with a quick video for you guys. Sorry for the lack of content lately. I did take a little bit of a break. Today we're talking about a contract extension for Simon Benoit. So if you guys are new here, make sure to like this video and subscribe. Join the squad. Love to have you guys here. The Maple Leafs are getting closer and closer to the playoffs. So now the content's going to ramp up. I didn't want to bore you guys with more content in between. I want to give you guys the best that I can possibly give you. So Today, we have to talk about this little contract extension. So the Maple Leafs have announced today that they have signed defenseman Simon Benoit to a three-year contract extension. The average annual value of the contract is $1.35 million. Now, Benoit is 25 years old. He's been in 54 games with the Leafs. He has five points, one goal, and four assists. Um, he signed obviously last offseason on in August, on sorry, on August 28th, 2023. Uh, of, over the course of his four-year NHL career with the Leafs and Ducks, the six-foot-four, 205-pound defenseman has recorded 20 points in 191 regular season games. Now, Benoit is not here to be the guy that puts up points. He's not here to eat up 25 minutes a night to shut down teams' first lines. He's here to be a physical presence, a pest, a guy that can get the puck up to guys after moving guys off of the puck and make smart decisions in his own zone. And I'm not going to lie, when Benoit came in, I wasn't thinking much of it. But the Maple Leafs have kind of tried to rebrand their blue line a little bit to be more physical, bringing in guys like McCabe in the previous offseason, having guys like Benoit, Edmondson, the list goes on and on. The Leafs have, have tried to upgrade this team, Labushkin. They're trying to make them more physical and make them a more aggressive team. And in some cases, it's worked. But the Leafs are fighting the injury bug and the illness bug right now. So uh, they, they're losing guys left and right. It looks like Lilligren's going to be out for a little while. So we're going to have to see that next man up mentality really come into play now. And if we're looking at the Maple Leafs and their hit leaders, you can see Benoit has 205 hits. McCabe is at 192. And these guys were actually a D pairing for a lot of the season. And I'm hoping in the playoffs they actually get a chance to play together because they work really well together. Now, if we're looking at Benoit, let's see if Cap Friendly has done a little bit of an update here. I'm going to hit a refresh. Uh, I'm not sure if they have or not. Uh, nope, it doesn't look like they have. But you can see Benoit 25 fits right in with some of the younger guys on this team. His cap hit was at 775K. And if you really ask me, Benoit has outgrown that contract substantially. And that's why he's getting that $1.35 million increase. Now, I was hoping it'd be less than $1.5 I wasn't even sure if he was going to get term, but giving this guy three years, a million dollars each year is a nice little bonus for him. Uh, he hasn't made a million dollars a year on a contract yet in the NHL, and he surely won't when taxes get to him uh, in Ontario. But the thing is, is uh, the, the, the Maple Leafs need more guys like Benoit where they can come in and play in that third pairing and sometimes in the second pairing. And be physical and that's something that in this offseason they really need to upgrade that blue line uh but again benoit uh we can see that con that contract last year he's got the new up upgrade there if you guys are interested in some of his stats here they are last year 10 points with the ducks and like i said uh this season five points uh in 54 games but that's not what he's here for he's been a plus five real nice couple games with the marlies but we're, we're not too concerned about that and if we're looking at next season I goofed up a little bit. I put 1.3, but it'll be 1.35. Uh, but that's a very minor thing. It's only going to take a little bit of cap space there. The Maple Leafs have some work to do with this team, and especially with their blue line. Uh, Cali Yarncrook's on LTIR, so that's actually going to add to their cap. Uh, but I can see them moving on from potentially a David Camp. But uh, the, the, the Leafs have a lot of decisions to make, right? Like they've, they've got guys all over this roster uh, that they need to fill holes on. They need another goalie. Maybe Samsonov re-signs with this team. Um, are you going to see a guy like Easton Cowan come up? Uh, maybe it'll actually work. Let's see. Okay. So you can see the Leafs will have some some work to do i'm not saying easton Cowan's going to make the team but you know a rookie taking up about a million dollars uh, of cap space do they have anybody on defense maybe a topi niemela could make the jump uh i know they like calkin in but maybe that maybe he gets a chance refi maybe he gets a longer look i don't know there, there's a bunch of options that the leafs have fraser minton could be a guy that comes up as well but they really, really need to do work on this blue line. So getting this left side pretty much set for potentially next season, what it could look like. 
Uh, I would imagine they might try to re-sign a guy like Labushkin as well. Uh, maybe even Edmondson as a seventh defenseman type guy, but they need to, to, to make some moves there. And you can see they've got that $18 million in cap space. But I just wanted to make this quick video uh, because, again, it, it's good to keep guys like Benoit around. That contract is not going to break the bank. It's not going to hurt anybody. Uh, it, it's not going to make, make the Maple Leafs cost themselves uh, a, a signing next summer. This is a perfect contract for a guy that deserves the upgrade. So good on Benoit. I'm very happy for him. Uh, this was a guy, again, I didn't think there was much to this player uh, coming in. I didn't think that he was going to, to, to be able to contribute as much as he has. So it's been a good story, uh, and, and I'm very happy that he's getting this extension uh, because the Leafs need to put together a decent blue line next year, and he's a guy that can play on that bottom pairing and even play with McCabe uh, when McCabe moves over to the right side, which is what they might do again next season. But they need some more right-handed shot defensemen. So we'll see what they do next season. If you guys are new here, make sure to like this video and subscribe. Join the squad. I'd love to have you guys here. Thank you for stopping in for another Maple Leafs update video. Benoit, three-year contract. Sound off in the comments. Tell me what you think. I'll see you in the next video or stream. Peace.